Good morning everyone, Sephora's huge sale is here and I just restocked on a bunch of items and I thought it's a perfect time to show you some of my favorite pieces from each category. So I went ahead and categorized everything I want to show you today from face to hair to primers to lips to eyes and everything and fragrances. I have a whole category on fra fragrances to show you. Now I have a lot of products. I did pick my top two or three or even one. I don't think I have anything one, but I picked my couple of favorite items from each category to show you. And it's a lot of items and I want this video to only be one video because the sale is here and I want you to take advantage of the sale. So I'm gonna hurry up and get to the video. First I'm gonna do skin because skin is the most important part of your makeup. If your skin is not looking great and the way it should be, your makeup will never look good no matter how much money you spend no matter how expensive your products are it's just not gonna sit right on your skin so I'm gonna start with skin now I'm not doing a full skincare routine I obviously have way more products in skincare than just four items that I'm about to show you but these are very very essentials in my skincare routine this Clarence double serum I don't know what's in here <laughs> this just completes my morning skincare routine it's an intense anti-aging serum and I finished three bottles so far I'm on my fourth bottle now they came out with a new one so when you click on the link below you're gonna see the new bottle which is even more intense it has two pumps one to dispense a little bit less and one to dispense a little bit more I always have it on more and then I put three pumps maybe maybe three or four pumps depending on how much my skin needs it next item is the ordinary glycolic acid 7% toning solution when I tell you I put this everywhere I put it everywhere <laughs> I put it on my face obviously. I use this every three, four nights at night time only and I wipe it all over my face and the next morning my makeup looks so flawless on my skin. I do put it under my armpits, I do put it on top of my hands, I do put it over my legs. Sometimes I just take a towel and I drench my towel and I just go all over my body. So you have to be careful with this if you're putting it over your face. You you obviously have to put sunscreen every single day, but especially if you're using this at night, 100% make sure you don't just go out in the sun, especially in the summertime, make sure you use sunscreen before you do. Make sure you do a test pad just because it can be a little bit intense on people's skin. So just be careful using it. Next item on skincare are my two favorite masks by Clarins. It is the V Facial Intense Wrap. This one kind of deep puffs and brightens and kind of reliefs if you had a long night out or if you had a tired or if you just want to refresh this is amazing this one is a completely different this one has a cooling effect so this one says it's an instant tightening firming and glow booster so this one is great for day like if you want to start your day fresh these two are fantastic together i highly 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 recommend them i've used it for three years and obviously counting i think this one is and they smell incredible. The texture is very, very thick. You just apply a bit, oops. You just put a very thin layer on your skin and just see the magic happen. Next, I have primers and setting sprays. This Merit Glow Serum. You guys, everybody needs this. I'm telling you, everybody needs this. It's a very, very, very dewy and glowy and hydrating serum that leaves your skin doing glowy, but it doesn't leave it too oily but it gives you that like oh, like burst of freshness that you need before your makeup. It's something so incredible. It's a glow serum, but at the same time, it really, really, really hydrates your skin. So you pump a couple on your hand. So it says, um, shake well, massage two, three pumps onto your skin before or after moisturizer in the morning or twice a day. I This is my second bottle, just so you know. Another item that's a primer, it's the Tom Ford Illuminating Primer. This one was recommended to me. Let me put these down. This one was recommended to me by a makeup artist when I wanted to do my wedding photo shoot in Paris I was doing my own makeup I didn't have anyone doing it for me there uh, but a makeup artist here really recommended this and she said it's gonna look in photo it's gonna look good at night during the day just any skin type any occasion anything you want to do this is a great primer and I haven't gone back since my wedding photo shoot was in 2021. A little bit goes a long way, so you don't have to use a lot, and it lasts a lot. This one is one ounce, but again, just a, one or two pumps goes a long way. Another item that I use, most of the time I use this as a, um, instead of foundation, just for days that I just want a little bit of a skin tint plus moisturizer, is the CC Serum, and I have 100% recommended this and talked about this before. This is by Clinique. Moisture Surge CC Cream Hydrating Color Corrector. Mm. Um, SPF 30 so I really like this because 
I used a couple of CC serums or CC creams before and they really become cakey very 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 quickly very fast this never becomes cakey even if I have it on for eight nine hours at a time it never becomes cakey it gives me the little bit of tint that I need and the fact that it has SPF 30 is great it moisturizes I mean it's in the name I don't use this a lot I use this on days that again I want to go outside run some errands I want my skin to still look bare but I want that something so this is great to have you can also put this underneath your foundation if you want to use less foundation but I use this instead of foundation <sighs> this finishing spray or setting spray also recommended to me by a makeup artist for my wedding photo shoot and I haven't gone back since it's a soft mist you know how some mists are so harsh on your skin you feel like you just drenched your face this is so soft I actually haven't put it on because i wanted to put this on with you it has a matte finish but at the same time it doesn't take your glowiness 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 <laughs> glowiness away because sometimes you put highlighter sometimes you want to put something that gives you that little extra glow like for example like for example, you put this to give you that glow and then you don't want your finishing spray to kind of get rid of all the glow that you just paid for to put on your face. So this doesn't do that, but at the same time kind of gives the matte finish in the right places. I don't know if I make sense, but, but the mist is so beautiful and so fine. Let me show you. I bet you can't even see the spray. I don't know if you were able to see. My eyes were closed. It doesn't have a strong smell. 100% recommend it. It's by Hourglass and it's called Veil. I think it comes in two different sizes. I'm not sure, but I have the bigger size. This is four ounces. Amazing product. Amazing product. Highly recommend it. Now we move on to my next category. I'm sorry if I'm going really, really fast. I just want to make sure this video is not too long and I show you everything that I have. So please let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer. Now for glow and primers right before foundation, this has been one of my absolute favorites. This is Drunk Elephant Drop Glow and I have four of these because these sell out. So if you really love a glowy, dewy face without feeling too oily, highly recommend getting it if it's still in stock i hope it's still in stock i haven't checked today and sometimes i just put a few dots on my cheeks after i do my makeup it gives me such a beautiful glow the thing with glow drops is that i saw a lot of people using it before their foundation and i saw i started doing it and then i would see that my glow is gone not that my foundation takes it away but it kind of you're kind of covering it that's the whole point of foundation because cover to give you coverage and i learned that instead of using it with my moisturizer or mixing with my moisturizer or using it before my foundation i started using it with my foundation so i mix a little bit on the back of my hand i also put my foundation here and i mix them together and i mean i don't know if you can see i don't know if you can see the glow first of all you see how the uh setting spray did not take everything away i still have this beautiful glow here a little bit of glow here so it keeps it in the right places but it kind of mattifies it so highly recommend this glow drop another glow drop that i really love is by say beauty this comes in two different um shades i have the glowy soup not the glue i have the shade uh sun glow and i think the other one is kind of like a champagne i like this one because i like the little bronzy feeling it gives you and then if you have a lighter skin tone i think the champagne would be best another primer that i have i mean look at it i just ordered another one it's by charlotte tilbury flawless filter this lasts so long I know people say it's pricey and everything but i've had this for and i put makeup on at least four to five times a week so i am a huge makeup person and i use this every time i put makeup on and it hasn't finished i'm gonna i'm gonna probably jinx it and it's gonna finish tomorrow but um it lasts me a very very long time i put uh three or four strikes on my face and i then i put my foundation on gives you a really really nice base to work with before you're putting a foundation now moving to foundations i have three items to show you first is a merit beauty glow uh not glow foundation stick now i don't use this as a foundation stick what i do is i use it to correct areas that i need corrections so some days if i'm going out and i don't want foundation i put a little bit of this and then i go in with this to just correct some little areas and i massage with my hand i mean it's like a basic like a concealer and it just conceals all the tiny little imperfections that you don't want to fully cover but you want 
a little bit coverage does that make sense so it's great foundations i tried three or four different foundations and i just threw them away when they were still 90 percent full 98 percent full because oh my goodness there's so many horrible foundations and they have amazing reviews on sephora amazing reviews and they're really really good brands but their foundation was really bad i'm not gonna name names but i'm just gonna tell you my favorite it's the georgia armani and the estee lauder i used to use this since high school and i haven't gone back to anything else i keep trying new ones just because i want to see what else is out there but i kept going back to this one now this one was recommended to me by a lady because when i went to france i was trying to find this i didn't take this with me and she said you know what if you like this you're gonna love this so i was like okay i've never actually tried it let me try it oh my goodness i fell in love with it this is full coverage this is uh not full coverage i don't know what's called half coverage <laughs> not full coverage i forgot the name um but this is a double wear stain place makeup i have this on today this is brand new i haven't used it yet this one i'm about to run out so i just ordered another one i use the shade 3c2 pebble not that it matters for you because there's so many different i think there's 50 60 shades everyone will have a different shade but um just for reference that's the shade i use it's so lightweight that you don't even feel like you have foundation on the other ones when i tried after a couple hours i had to go wash my face because i'm like i feel like i'm suffocating i feel like something is like blocking my face and it was just horrible horrible feeling it was cakey it was heavy it just felt like i have a mask on my face and i absolutely hated it this one i have it on all day and i don't want to wash it off because it looks flawless even after 12 hours of working and going outside and coming back inside running errands it just looks flawless next item i have is a setting powder now i don't use setting powder all over my face just because i personally like the dewy look on my face and i wasn't like this always i think up until last year i would drench my face and put the whole setting powder on my face because i wanted everything to be matte i know a lot of people still do it and it looks flawless on them i think for my face and for my features and my age and my skin type and everything it's better it's best if i just put it on tiny little places on my face so the places i put it is my eyes just because i don't want my eyeliner um, with the humidity and running around and sweating and everything to kind of crease and I go ahead and put it around my lip area and a little bit on my t-zone so I don't put it on my cheeks I don't put it everywhere here I don't put it all over my forehead those are the only places I put it on I have used five or six different types of setting powders and this is my absolute favorite now I know they just changed the formula I'm scared to get the new one because this is the old one I don't know if they still have it or not. I'm still gonna link it for you. I know a lot of people use the new one and they didn't like it, but comparing it to this, yes. But I think by itself, it's a fantastic product. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it and see. But this is by Givenchy for different color. I don't wanna tip it, it's gonna fall. But it's four different colors that gets mixed together when you bring it to the top. And my color, I think they have three, four different ones. Mine is three rose. So it kind of gives you that like very, very, very subtle blush pink kind of feeling. And I highly recommend it. It's beautiful. And this also lasts a very long time. Maybe because I only put it in small areas on my face. But it lasts me a very long time. I did purchase the new one just because um, the sale, obviously. <laughs> now i think i'm going to show you one more category which is eyes and then i'm going to have to because i have lips i have blushes i have fragrances and i have hair to go and this video is already long so because today is sunday the sale is still going on until the 11th so what i'm going to do is i'll make another video part two to show you those and i'll post it on thursday so that you still have time to take advantage of the sale. Yeah, because then this video will be one hour long and I'm sure you don't wanna sit here for one hour just listening to me. <laughs> All right, so this will be the last category and then I'll show you the other ones on Thursday. So moving on to eye, I don't know how many of you have seen my previous videos. I've mentioned this every time I do a makeup video, every time I do a product review makeup, I talk about how hard it is to find an eyeliner that is good. <laughs> because I used this other eyeliner that I absolutely loved. It was by NYX, but I started realizing that the brush is hair strokes, and after a couple of times, it starts spreading. 
so it doesn't have that pointy i want my eyeliner to be pointy it started spreading and if you see some of my videos you'll see the before and after like a brand new one versus the one that i used a couple of times so it started spreading out it's so difficult to use and some other eyeliners they either crease they don't last long they are not they're not pigmented they dry out so many i went through so many eyeliners i mean a lot of you know but i finally found well hopefully fingers crossed this is my second one and i'm really happy with it no, i've not found any flaws with it yet so fingers crossed that it will stay that way and they're not going to change anything about it anything about it i just want this to stay forever on the market okay it's by fenty beauty it's this eyeliner and i'll open it so i can show up oh. There we go. And this is the Fly Liner. Fly Liner? Yes, Fly Liner. And I get the color Kazan Black. And I think it's the darkest one. And it's a long wear liquid eyeliner. And I don't think it's waterproof, but here's the thing. When I wash my face off, after even two times, because I double cleanse at night, especially if I have makeup on, it still is, I still have to see the residue. It's not hard to remove, but it's just sticking. Just like, ah, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> it's a very, very good eyeliner. And the tip is felt. I think I have to bring. Look at it. The tip is not going anywhere. It's not spreading. It's not opening up. It's staying like that. And that's what I have on today. And I'm in love. Fenty Beauty, please do not take this off the market. Please do not change the formula. Please do not change anything about it because my holy grail. I'm loving this eyeliner so much. Next, moving to eyebrows. Yes, eyebrows. These two pencils, uh, I'm so happy because I used to use this Benefit eyeliner, um, eyebrow pencil for a very, very long time, for a couple years. I needed a thinner one because I used this for the fillers of my, like right here, from here to here. And I needed something for this area because I want very, very thin um, hair strokes around this area of my eyebrow. And I used to use the Huda Beauty until something changed. They 100% changed the formula because, actually, let me show you. Because, oh my goodness, I'm so unhappy. I think this was $17 and I even called Sephora and I was like, what is going on? Something changed in the formula because look, this is brand new, right? Brand new and look like doesn't draw it's out right like doesn't draw <laughs> look at it it does not draw what is going on can somebody tell me what's going on versus these and I have to go so hard I had to really really press hard into my skin this one you do very Wait, wait for it to focus. There we go. Very, very, very light strokes. And same with this one. Okay, you see those, right? Now we go back to Huda Beauty because now you're kind of focused. Oops, I just broke the tip. And that's okay because I'm not going to use this product anymore. Like, where are the lines? where are the lines i'm so disappointed sometimes it's not the money it's about the principle well it's not about the money it's about principle like why was this not tested and this was my third one i ordered three at a time because i like to have it in my drawer just in case this is all of the all of the three that i bought same thing happened i was like was this not checked i don't know um, what's going on, but I'm never going back to Huda Beauty and I'm very very disappointed But Benefit, thank you Benefit, came up with a thinner one. This is ultra 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 thin as you saw that I showed you It's I think Very little. I don't remember the number, but it's very 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 thin um, Compared to well, I just had to vent so I didn't really show you <laughs> The difference. Let me show you the difference in these two you see the difference in pencil it's very very thin so it's perfect for even for some people that don't want to use the thicker one for the fillers uh, filler areas um, this is great for really natural hair strokes but I use this for this area and then this one for this area next item which will be the last one before I jump to part two is Mario palette eyeshadow palette I actually did a whole I think 
video was it short was it on my TikTok and Instagram that I compared 17 or 18 different eyeshadow palettes that I had and I reviewed them and I said that this not comparable to anything I've ever seen and I have eyeshadows anywhere from Dior Chanel all the way to drugstore eyeshadow and I have never seen anything like this now the one the color I have is this palette right here these are all my colors it comes in a little bit of um it comes i think in two or three different palettes a little bit cooler if you want a cooler makeup and a little bit warmer this one is matte and the uh eyeshadow color palette is called hmm i don't see a color i don't see a name master matte eyeshadow palette i don't see a color but i'll list it for you link it for you down below so you can check it out yeah i don't see a color i really love the two really dark well, i can't see the camera <laughs> i really love these two colors because if you want to do a cat eye if you want to do a smoky wing they're perfect for it or sometimes i go ahead and mix a couple of them together but it's the only eyeshadow i've been using and really really loving just to give you a sneak peek of what's coming in part two these are all my lip products that i love these are all my blushes well there's a lot more these are oh, all my fragrances and hair i have a lot to show you don't forget to watch part two i apologize if i went too fast and if you have any questions i'll be more than happy to answer in the comment section thank you guys so much for watching see you on thursday